thank you. Uh, today I will um, use roughly 10 minutes to introduce um, my uh, plan and some ongoing progress in this plan. So uh, we'd like to, to build a own corpus called AGAC corpus. The application is to aiming to do some drug repurposing. I'm from China. And uh, it's our our university is a sort of an agriculture university, a laboratory, the Hubei Key Laboratory of Agriculture and Bioinformatics. And uh, my lab here, we have a very huge campus. Hope uh, in the future we could meet there in China using my campus. And uh, this is online. The background is to um, to to tell a you know roughly the whole view of our story, why we do this job, and uh, how we uh, could organize the, the you know our corpus construction, and how to you know connect the corpus notation to the research like the drug repurposing. I like to to um, you know to um, make it clear within these slides. Uh, currently, it's a um, time of a year. Uh, year of uh, omics data, we all know that uh, you know the data of a biologic have uh, you know have increased very 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 dramatic and quickly. So uh, for researchers from the field of bioinformatics, we will use data like uh, we will use um, genome, proton, we will use a uh, long and there are lots of lots of uh, data will help to find the relationship between the pairs, and we want to form a graph knowledge and find something between like between the drug and the disease. This is something very popular here. And uh, the same thing here, we like to say all of, all of people here we would like to declare that there were some other data which is also very essential. It is called text uh, We If we call the huge text data including the uh, literature published the paper and those clinical texts uh, huge text as text tone. This is also a very essential resources that you, you cannot omit. Like if, uh, I searched the keyword of a tuberculosis in PubMed last night, and uh, the number is uh, greater than uh, 240,000. It is a very huge number. So there are lots of knowledge we cannot omit it. So idea of uh, AGAC is to do some annotation for the active gene and we will form an allotted uh, corpus and the purpose is to find the, the relation between the gene drug but more than that, we like to go a little bit detailed into the um, pharmacological view of the, you know, how the drugs could play function into, you know, to cure the disease and uh, so, uh, here comes our idea. This is the, the paper uh, published for our team in roughly four years ago. Uh, the job, this research is very simple. We want to, um, you know, to identify sort of um, hypothesis. Means if we have a gene here, the gene is mutated. And we also know that the gene is also targeted M of some sort of a drug. So here, we draw and the gene, the gene mutated. And maybe the gene plays some function of gain function. So if we have uh, the drug, the drug is an antagonist, antagonist who will know to, to do something um, in opposite way. Say the drug is an antagonist, it's an inhibitor. The mutated gene need to play function by GOF, by gain function. So this is some sort of a force from different uh, directions. Uh, am I clear? So that means that the drug could be very, very possible candidate to cure the disease. So same thing if uh, the gene mutated with the form of an LOF, loss of function, and there is an agonist, it uh, stimulates the gene or protein to make function. This, this chemical saying this drug could have a very possible a uh, reason to be a candidate drug to cure the disease related to this gene. So here are example. The example is here. It's a, a it's a drug called um, called uh, Tafina. Tafina is a drug. Uh, it's target, targeted in the gene called uh, BRAF, and actually the BRAF really 
play functions here. It, um, it, it uh, is a GLF mutation happened in BRAF V in the position of 600 in amino acid sequence. V become a E. Then, uh, just because of this um, mutation of uh, BRAF, it activated a lot of uh, you know, um, subsequent uh, processes of uh, molecular processes. Then uh, it uh, finally leads to a, a tumor, tumor cell happened. Um, then this is a, a example to show that if we could uh, find some um, GOF action of a gene with mutation, and we also know some drugs which in the one hand targeting with this gene, and in another hand is a antagonist with this gene, so we could find a very interesting pair between the drug and the disease. So with some more detail of this pharmacological knowledge, it's more possible to find it in, you know, more possible candidate for drugs. So, um, okay, so this is really infected drug for, for uh, sort of a skin cancer. I have another example, uh, very similar, but it is, you know, in the opposite way, LOF and uh, agonist. But I, I don't have enough time, so I'll meet here. So another picture is to show that uh, I have to focus a lot on a mutation. Mutation, why mutation could play some role like this? There must have something very, you know, in, very instructive in biology. To be frank, many, many years ago when I, you know, go in, went into this field, it's still striving. You know, my major, my major was mathematics. So for me to see these figures, you know, wow, that's terrible. But nowadays, I like to see these pictures, something, you know, because it showed many, many uh, mechanisms hidden in, the, in sort of, uh, you know, in sort of stories. Like here is a mutation here. Um, there are sort of, uh, you know, sort of a pocket. Pocket, if you see this protein, it occurred, and there is a pocket here, and the something here, circle, is a zinc. Uh, sorry, I, it's zinc. So because, um, because the, these four amino acids, they form a pocket, and the zinc could, you know, could uh, interact with the protein, and you know, some sort of uh, subsequent process could, could go on. So if mutation happened, like here, here is a, there is a mutation. Let's see some detail of this mutation. It's a mutation D to G. So D is aspartic acid, the G is the glycine. So uh, we could observe the side chain of the D is quite long, and the, the side chain of G, nothing. Side chain, side chain of G is just the hydrogen bond. So um, to be simple, if the side chain becomes shorter, so the, the pocket will get, you know, get loose, and you uh, you lost the function of the zinc affinity, zinc affinity. This is something very, very interesting to my view because you know I found that okay, I found the foundation for me or find the reason for me to locate the mutation first if I want to find some real uh, relation or an interesting relationship between the gene and the disease or something. I have to locate the mutation first. This is the first story. So um, this figure uh, was drawn my was drawn my student. She sent it uh, to me. Um, roughly seven, uh, three days ago, and uh, so uh, for this eight, every every um, items here reflect our labels, those labels that we like to annotate within the text. So we all study from the mutation here, and the mutation will cause a structural change, and uh, we also know the mutation will also infect the expression and transcription, you know, uh, everything is in the central dogma. And uh, also interaction between the uh, macro uh, molecule, and also uh, it will, you know, it will, we will also annotate the signal between the cells. And also in the level of a tissue, we will um, allocate the cell and the tissue uh, physiological activity and uh, also uh, function. 
So uh, for our ongoing job, we are doing annotation like this. So this is an example. Uh, the mutated uh, re re mutation, excuse me, resulted in a frame shift and a premature stop. So uh, this is a, a very similar pattern as shown in Ingenia corpus, and uh, the verb will always, uh, you know, to to be a root in the dependency tree, and for this word we uh, annotated as a regulation, and for mutation, yes, it is a mutation. For this word and this phrase, uh, is uh, you know is related to central dogma. We annotated with uh, us expression, and uh, so we can find the thing and the course. This is these are all very similar as uh, as it went on in Genia, and uh, so this something like a triplet. We will find a, a relationship, and we find an entity in their relationships, and uh, the. Text we collected uh, from OMIAN. And uh, this uh, data from OMIAN have very nice um, representations of, uh, about uh, the gene mutation and uh, you know some some of the other other um, phenomenon happened uh, after the mutation mutation. So uh, this is labels I just uh, mentioned in the picture just now. And uh, this is a trigger trigger word. We just uh, um, we just uh, currently uh, do some simple setting for three trigger trigger word regulation positive and negative. And uh, these are our text. The totally there were one hundred and three text. is very small. The reason for picking this is that. Uh, uh, we actually, pub, uh, the team, our team, published the paper uh, four years ago just based on this test, but we read it manually. We didn't do annotation. So this time, we like to do the annotation to try to repeat our discovery and, uh, you know, by using some um, subsequent machine learning uh, methods. And we also use, uh, oh, use um, pub, pub dictionary to do some pre-annotation. The, the pre-annotation is help us to do the, uh, will help us to do the uh, trigger word detection. And we will use it as a sort of a feature function as used in CRF, conditional for uh, conditional R for random, random forest, uh, random fold, yeah, CRF. And uh, we will also use uh, my curation to do the, uh, cur uh, to do the annotation so, uh, so these uh, annotation are developed semi-automatically and corrected manually. And uh, these are the sort of uh, dictionary we use from the metamat, uh, semantic tabs. Yes, the dictionaries. So here are some uh, examples of uh, how we do the annotation by using the pub annotation. Um, very similar. I think uh, I think uh, oh, you, you 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 must know the how to use it. The mechanism is very nice uh, interface to do the annotation. So uh, a simple comparison. There are lots of uh, lots of uh, famous corpus here. I just listed two that I a bit bit more familiar with. Uh, one is Kenya, is huge, two thousand, and the craft is smaller size, but uh, you know have a very rich annotation. Ours is smaller and uh, not very rich annotated. But I think because of our our team is very small, we have to do some do something special and then even a little bit novel that uh, we could tackle. Right. So um, our purpose is very simple because our team is to do drug repurposing. In our team, we have uh, in our bigger team, uh, we have a uh, um, higher preferred professor as a leader. And me as a mathematician and algorithm and designing in the team, and we have some sort of other different guys. We have some sort of computer science guys, chemistry guys, biological guys, physical guys. Very interesting cross discipline um, teams. So um, this is uh, our purpose, and uh, by using this corpus, we can do things like this. And uh, we didn't finish it yet, actually. Um, we just uh, upload, uploaded all of the text and do the 
um, dictionary, and uh, yeah, we didn't finish or, but the, the algorithm part uh, uh, roughly finished uh, for half. So uh, for the further, further plan, we'd like to have uh, some more um, discussion or around some local interest in China among our districts, or even a little bit, little bit uh, you know, um, little bit attraction from overseas. So I, if you, I, I'd like to have uh, some uh, hold a symposium or workshop in China next year. So if you have some idea to really fund the raising, just uh, please tell me, uh, email me. And that would be very helpful. And this uh, is a um, workshop we hold last year, and uh, a lot of my students and uh, all the bio Thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs>